Hey guys, my name is Michelle and I'm a biomedical equipment technician. I travel throughout the state of Alaska to uh, village health clinics and I service their medical equipment along with uh, some of the hospitals as well. Um, in my last fireside Q&A uh, video, I had mentioned that one of the questions that I'm asked while I'm traveling is am I CBET certified? CBET meaning certified biomedical equipment technician. And I would told I told you I would do a video as to whether or not I pass or failed. But the whole purpose of this video is actually just to kind of tell you how I prepped for it. Um, some of the different resources that I utilize to prep for it as well. And then, you know, some advice as to when I feel like you should take that test. Now keep in mind, this is all my opinion. So uh, let's talk about the exam. The exam covers covers six subjects, anatomy and physiology, healthcare and public safety, electricity and electronics, healthcare technology, troubleshooting, and IT and healthcare. And that really, it's such a broad spectrum of subjects. That's what makes it the most challenging, along with the fact that the, the test is 165 questions, three hours long, and you could take no material in with you. It is all by memory. Um, now, the, the pass rate for the first time takers is roughly about 60% of the people pass. Um, what I utilized, my resources for studying for this test was, Amy has a CBET online uh, exam prep course, and I believe it was four weeks, two nights a week that uh, covered the different subjects and kind of gave you a feel for what questions that would be asked on the, the, the test as well. Another thing I used was chat GPT. Oh my word, what a game changer. I tell you what, AI has is just amazing technology. It prepped me and got me in the mindset for taking the test, the process of elimination. The questions that it would throw at me when I answered it wrong, it didn't just say wrong, it told me why I was wrong. and you know, different ways of, of actually being able to remember it. Then my next really big uh, resource was YouTube. Some fantastic content creators. Along the way, I just wound up creating playlists for each subject and that is available on my YouTube channel. So feel free to go in there, look under playlists. I have a subject um, for each thing that's on the test and then the videos from the content creators that I liked and utilized as uh, prep for this core or this test. I would say my biggest um, recommendation is to take this test while you're fresh out of school. It's if you wait it's just you're gonna forget so much and it's the nice thing is is if you pass it you have five years to meet all your qualifications to be able to apply for that certificate. So don't worry about it. Take the test, get that hard part out of the way, and then just get your uh, all your um, qualifications done and apply for the, uh, the certificate. So now if you do go beyond that five years, you actually have to retake the test. So don't wait, get everything that you need to done done and apply for it so you don't have to go down that studying process again. I did pass the test. Uh, I cannot tell you how hard I worked on studying for this test. Eight and ten hour days for at least two weeks solid. That I'm not exaggerating guys. It was a t it was so hard for me. Um, I'm not a good test taker but uh, I passed the test so um, do I think that you should be CBET certified? No, I don't, I, and I don't think if you're CBET certified, it makes you a good technician. I've worked with uh, good and bad that were certified and weren't certified. So it's not really, uh, you know, it doesn't say that you're, you're good or bad in my opinion, but it's, it's a goal and it seems to be becoming more of the industry standard. So if your company is willing to pay for it like mine was, take advantage of it and get it done. It's just going to help you in the future. Um, like I said, it is a tough test. So if you've taken the test and you haven't passed it, 
don't give up. Keep studying, keep trying. It will help you eventually, hopefully you'll pass. I think you would, you know, you do it enough times. And for those of you who have taken the test and you have passed it, congratulations, you've earned it. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I hope this video helps you um, in, in taking the test and prepping for it. Feel free, definitely go back on that my YouTube channel and look at those playlists, some great content. It doesn't, it doesn't help me whatsoever. This is actually something I did for myself and now I just wanna share with you guys. So good luck.